I got to get over this. I don't like watching scary movies, and I got to get over this shit, sir. I do. You know, Paranormal Activity 4 is in theaters. I told myself, Eric, stop being a bitch. And I said, I'm going to watch 1, 2, and 3 on Netflix so I can know what the fuck is going on. And then I'm going to go to 4. I'm like, yeah. I watched 1. Fuck that. I don't know if you've seen Paranormal Activity, but it's about a couple that lives in a house. Demonic shit is happening, so they decide to put up video cameras and tape it. They have two and a half hours of footage. I would have had two minutes of footage. <laughs> How much footage do you need to know you need to get the fuck out of a place? I was so mad at this guy in this movie. Their bedroom door, it's all on tape. Bedroom door open by itself. He don't leave the house. Somebody's banging on their bedroom door making noises. Ah! He don't leave the house. He put out powder in front of the hallway. There's demonic footprints in the morning. He don't leave the house. The girlfriend is standing in front of the bed shaking for two hours. He don't leave the house. The Ouija board blew up by itself and left him a note. He don't leave the house. The demon hunter walked in and immediately went, I got to get the fuck out of here. He didn't leave the house. He had a picture on the wall just of his face had a scratch on it. He didn't leave the house. The girlfriend got pulled down the hall with her feet in the air. Ah! He didn't leave the house. When she got possessed, threw him across the room and ate him, I was like, you deserve to die, motherfucker. <laughs> this demon was very specific. Get the fuck out of here. And it wasn't even like the demon was trying to be mean. He said, you know what? Let me just knock on their bedroom door real quick and see what they... You know what? Let me just open the bedroom door. Maybe they'll get the little hint. You know what? Let me walk in this powder right here. Maybe they... No, this demon had to go fucking psycho on this motherfucker. But I'm going to tell you all right now why it was the girl's fault. Yes, ladies. I'm going to tell you why it was her fault. Early on when they're watching the tape, she turns to him and says, well, what was I supposed to tell you? that I've been possessed by a demon since I was eight years old? Yes, bitch. You let me know that information before we get into a mortgage together, you know? That's why he wasn't leaving. It's a high interest loan. He just put in a sun deck. It's a 30 year fixed. With in this economy, I'm not leaving this bitch. So ladies, my point is this. If you are on a date with someone you don't know that well, reveal some shit about yourself. Okay, are you, are you, are you allergic to peanuts? Are you shellfish? Where can I take you to eat? You know, are you religious, Pentecostal? Are you going to have Christmas? Are you Jehovah Witness? Do you got babies? You know, is it going to be some baby mama drama, daddy issues? What the fuck's going on? And most importantly, I've been possessed by a demon since I was eight years old. That's a new kind of STD. <laughs> Sexually transmitted demons. <laughs> Imagine you having sex with a chick, then a week later, you're not feeling well. Like, ooh, what's something is going on? I, I'm not feeling myself right now. I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now. Listen, I want to thank you very much, La Jolla. <laughs> You guys have been awesome. Thanks for being a part of my personal history. Thank you very much.